Hey everybody and welcome. My name is Michael. I post weekly videos here about swimming, biking, and running. This video is actually my first indoor race on Zwift with the A group. Some quick stats about me, 162 pounds, 302 watts, FTP, which gives me a 4.1 watt per kg. Uh, let's just go ahead and jump right into things. Here we are at the start of the race. Uh, I'm gonna bring you a couple key moments in this race. I don't wanna give you everything, but obviously the start of every single Zwift race is an event all in unto itself. You wanna make sure that you stay with the pack. The start of this race actually starts out pretty tame. You can see us going out of the gate. Nothing too extreme. Obviously at the jungle course, we are gonna take a right right here come up and over a short little rise and then it's all downhill for the first couple miles. Um, so no one is really putting in too much of an effort to try and get away early. Um, you see me hanging out of the back of the pack. I do have to give a little bit of a dig to make sure that I stay in with the group, but uh, not too much work to stay with the pack early on. Throughout this video, I'm gonna bring you really just four key moments. I'm gonna bring you both of the climbs. Um, those are obviously very defining moments in this race. Uh, and then there is a part where I do get broken off the pack, broken off with a couple of the guys that I'm riding with, and I'm gonna to have to catch back on. So I'm gonna bring you those pivotal moments only. Here we go into the first climb. The climb at full speed takes a little bit over six minutes. And you can see starting off right away, we're between, I'm at least, between four and a half and five watts per kg for a majority of it. That sends my heart rate skyrocketing. Just about to hit 180, I think I get 181, 182 beats per minute. My max heart rate is around 183 beats per minute. So I am riding on my limit at this point. The fun thing about this race, if you look over on the right, you're looking at the watts per kg, you'll see that we are just constantly throwing small, just micro accelerations at each other, nothing too intense, but for the three of us, we were probably on our limit at this point in time. Anyway, uh, it was enough for me to actually kind of blow up. Uh, and this is what you see here. I actually kind of backpedal for two, three seconds feeling bad for myself, thinking should I just quit, cancel this, this is going well, but decided actually I'm gonna push through this, had enough mental toughness to get back on the pedals. I ended up slowing down for Pels. I knew coming on the descent after that climb that having him with me would allow us to both descend at a much faster rate. So that's exactly what we do. And together we are able to catch back up to the German. Swinging back around for the climb number two. This time I decide regardless of what happens, I'm going to try to set my most steady tempo from the start and that's exactly what I do. I ride really kind of close to my FTP. I'm actually starting to create gaps from these two. So I decide I'm gonna throw in some, again, really small micro accelerations. I throw it up 350 watts. Uh, and then maybe 30 seconds later, again, another 350 watt surge, but then just settle right back down around 300 watts. And I'm gonna try and hold this all the way up to the top. I'm doing really well. I'm able to get a gap on both the Dutchman and the German. Um, however, the German, obviously very strong rider. You're going to see him. He is going to make a strong comeback, get back on my wheel as we approach the summit of this climb. Mm -hmm. 
So with the German on my wheel heading down the descent, we both know that neither of us are going to create a gap, so we take it relatively easy. This race is going to come down to a sprint finish. I've seen glaciers move faster. So I wasn't able to get a top 20 finish, but 21st out of 34, I don't think is bad for my first race with the A group. Um, certainly I'm gonna be doing more of these races in the future, so if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe below so that you don't miss out on any of the future content. Uh, and if you really like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and helps other people see this content as well. Thanks a lot, everybody.